I didn't set out to be an inspiration and in fact I've always you know, I always thought of myself as kind of the underdog and the kind of the awkward person who wasn't really that great in sport. But I, I, I found that I, you know, I'm one of those that tries to work harder and like take on challenges sometimes that I don't know if I'm capable of. And uh, I, 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 and think out of the box, you know, and, and not be afraid to do things that you really want to do just because you think, you know, in the back of your mind you have this thing, you know, nagging thought that. I'm a woman and I won't have the same opportunities. You just say, screw it, I, you know, I'm, I, I will have the same opportunities, and you go for it. Sarah Blythe is a skateboarding pioneer, breaking into the male-dominated sport and helping to develop Vancouver as a world leader in competitive and recreational skateboarding. In her youth, Sarah gravitated towards skateboarding after not catching on with more traditional sports. When I was a young girl, uh, I lived out at UBC, and. Uh, I got a skateboard at one, for one of my birthday parties and I realized that you could just do that by yourself and you could, you know, um, just go out and, uh, and, and it seemed like something that I liked to do and you could socialize with friends and we would just ride around the neighborhood on bikes and skateboards. And As she grew up, Sarah realized there was a lack of publicly accessible skateboarding venues in Vancouver and worked to change the situation. You couldn't skate in the streets because it was illegal and you'd get a ticket. I went to the park board and went and started a, an organization called the Indoor Skateboard Coalition, which eventually became the Skateboard Coalition, and it's still going today. And uh, we were just became active in getting youth parks. As a passionate advocate for accessible sport opportunities, Sarah established a soccer team for members of Vancouver's homeless community. Out of the homeless shelter, we had heard that there was some street soccer teams around so I thought well let's start a street soccer team from our homeless shelter. And we just went to went on a bus you know and we went and got some coffee and went and had something to eat and it was more like you know what do we do outside the shelter during the day and like let's go have fun together. Through her work Sarah provided the members of Canada's 2011 women's street soccer team a once-in-a-lifetime experience. One of my favorite moments in my life is when um, we went to the Homeless World Cup and we had the first women's team represent Canada. It was really, really exciting because, you know, um, giving women that, you know, may not have the opportunity, an opportunity to really, you know, to travel and get out there. And, and I remember when we were on the bus on our way there, one of the, the people on the team was like, well, we've already won, you know, we've just, we don't even have to go there and do anything, we've already won, we're getting on the plane, you know. It was just such a, a great thing. Through her experience, Sarah has repeatedly seen the importance of including women in sports. Um, you know, it became sort of a passion of mine to just like fight for women in sport and make sure that women were included and felt comfortable and safe. You know, women need women to mentor them. Um, I'm inspired by other women more than I am men because I'm a woman and, and, and when I see a, a woman doing really well, I'm like, yeah, right on, you know. Sarah has worked to increase opportunities for sport participation and doesn't plan to stop anytime soon. If I was to be remembered for something in sport, it would be helping women get involved with, uh, opening doors for women to get involved with non-traditional sports. And I, fought for that and I'm willing to continue to fight for that.